Yo, what's going on guys? Today, I am going to be doing some RV stuff. Uh, nothing major, basically there's a spot in the bathroom where I bought a little uh, uh, toilet paper dispenser type thing to go in and I'm going to assemble that and let's cross my fingers that it actually fits in the spot. So let me go show you what I'm talking about real quick. I'm hoping that it'll either fit right there or right there and this is actually it in the box here so we shall see because this is the uh, what I guess you would consider like the master bath and there's nothing really on this wall um, and I was thinking about possibly doing something here maybe some sort of like something to hold towels I'm not sure yet uh, but maybe you guys can give me some suggestions because on the other side of this wall, that's where the TV is. Right there. And so I'm not even sure how thick this wall is uh, and what kind of support it has. Obviously, I'm not planning on putting anything really heavy or anything, but um, yeah, some suggestions as command hooks the best way to go on that or is there something else I can do right there because the, all I have over here is just you know same thing it's not a lot of uh, storage in this bathroom so also quick shout out I'm wearing today my uh, big truck big RV shirt shout out to JD uh, I know a lot of you found my channel because uh, JD was nice enough to feature me on his channel when I did a, a tour of my RV. So shout out to him and thanks again for, for giving me that opportunity. So I'm gonna pause the video here for just a second so I can get everything set up uh, and then I'll get to putting this thing together. All right, this is kind of an awkward angle but hopefully I'll be able to get as much in the camera as possible. Um, I don't think I should need a whole lot of tools. I haven't actually opened the box yet but I just brought out here, um, this is like one of my go-to toolkits for like literally a lot of stuff it's just a multi kit where you can put a bunch of different stuff on a uh, like a ratchet screwdriver um, so yeah brought that out I couldn't find any of the regular pliers in the house I got these and then I got some for cutting and a hammer so hopefully I don't need anything more than that but uh, let me go ahead and get this thing opened up and see if I can get it assembled here pretty quickly. Yeah, the hardware looks pretty basic so far. And the pieces. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's like foam board or I don't know. It might be some sort of wood composite or something. And I'm about to sneeze, I apologize. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Good old instructions. Don't know if I'm actually gonna need this or if it's just like a, oh, uh, maybe I will, cause there's two of them in here. That's it. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of tilt the camera down a little bit so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing versus looking at me. Okay, so it looks pretty, pretty simple. Uh, it looks like I just kind of wedge all the shelves in between here and then put in a few screws and that's about it. Let's see. Oh, these are all different shapes. All right.
Okay. So, what they've done is like each one has got like a slightly different cut to it so that they can pretty much only fit in one spot and I'm guessing they also did that to help it to have a better support system. So that one goes there. This goes here and then this one's got two notches. So this has two notches. This has a single notch and this has a single notch. And then this is one of the only one, these two are the only ones that have one on the back. So it's kind of cool. Makes it pretty easy to figure this out. Now, these two, there's, uh, looks like these are probably gonna go in the sides, I'm guessing. I'm not even sure. How does this one go together? So, looks like this one all right I'm kind of confused now let me see for a second okay so it's saying to I said it was easy and now it got a little bit confusing, but I think I got it figured out. This isn't wanting to uh, fit in the hole the way it's supposed to. I think it's just cut slightly off. There we go. Hopefully I'm not getting this thing all dirty. All right, so we got one side done. Okay, now it's saying to do this door next. And it goes between here and here. You know, I'll go ahead and say this now too. Once I start actually uh, getting some use out of this thing, I'm gonna give you guys an update because I'm feeling like these materials and the way this thing is designed, that uh, just the moisture in the bathroom area with the hot water or water in general, I feel like some of this stuff is not gonna hold up well, but we'll see. All right, so we put the door on. After I've got the door on, the next thing I need to do is this one right here. So this is the one where the toilet paper actually comes through. And that goes there like that. Okay, these two little knobs here are what hold the door from uh, going through. So you just pop these in here. And 
now the door will stay uh, closed. And it looks like the last thing to do is basically put this one on and then put on the other side. And I guess I'm gonna put a few screws to hold it tighter. So this was a pretty easy build so far. Let me see something real quick though. How does, I guess this one screws in. Let me double check that before I put the side on. Yep, so that shelf goes in last. So just gotta get this sandwiched in here. So I'll get a better view of this in a minute, but that's pretty much what it looks like. And then the uh, door must open the other direction. I can't get this open right now. I have to put the knob on it. So All right, so there's the door can open and close. <laughs> I just got it stuck again. I need to put the knob on it so I can get it open and closed easier. Everything's like double and triple bagged. All right. All right, now that I got a knob, I can properly open and close this. And I just gotta put in the uh, middle shelf and this thing will be wrapped up. And it looks like the middle shelf basically just goes in with these little pegs. What are these screws for though? Okay, the screws go at the top and bottom, I guess. Yeah, so there's some screws that go in a few spots. Let me go ahead and do those for some extra support. Of course, the screw head has got uh, something wedged in it. Wow. You probably won't be able to see this on the camera, but I picked up two different screws and it's a Phillips head. And in the middle of the Phillips head is a chunk of metal. So I can't even uh, use that screw unless I can dig that piece of metal out.
and I don't feel like these screws are really going to offer much support anyways because they're just spinning in place. They don't even really grab hold. Luckily, it's just holding toilet paper though, so doesn't need to be uh, super strong. All right, this screw actually feels like it's going in a little better. Yeah, I feel like that one's actually holding on. Okay, I've got a couple more of these to go. Sorry if this isn't the most exciting video, but I set a goal to put out a video every day in December. And so sometimes finding content is tougher than others. And I just dropped a screw in the air vent here on the floor. So now I gotta unscrew it to get that out. Wow. This simple build is uh, <laughs> turning out to be a little bit of pain in the neck. here to unscrewing this plate so I can get the screw that I dropped in there if I had a magnet handy I'd just do it that way but fortunately it's the same screw head so Make sure I don't do that again. Okay, so I'm gonna see if my little screwdrivers over here, if I can dig out this little piece of metal that's in these other two screw heads so that I can use, got it out on one, these screws. I don't wanna lose that metal because I don't wanna end up in somebody's foot or something. And here's the other one. Got that one out too, awesome. Let me get these last two screws in, then we'll put these little plastic things in to hold the shelf. And I think it'll be done, and then we can go test fit it and see if it fits in there properly. Let's get this middle shelf in.
right, and it looks like there's two extras of those, so let me make sure I'm not missing something. If they just sent extras or if I was supposed to install those somewhere. Yeah, it appears they just sent these as extras by mistake. And then, what do we got here? Some little foam sticker thingies. Let me see what those are supposed to be for. I'll use these, but we'll see. These are basically supposed to be caps for the screw holes and peg holes, so my guess is uh, they may not survive forever, but I guess it makes it look a little nicer. Maybe I'll end up painting this thing too, just to make it look a little more interesting or a little nicer. I have these uh, stickers and I'll show you guys those in just a second, but they're like um, just some birds and stuff and you can stick them on walls and then they peel off without you know causing any damage and so i was considering uh putting some of those am i missing one of these stickers ah wasn't supposed to put one there um it's so considering putting some of those birds all over the walls of the RV just to kind of like have a uh, flow of the birds going around. So let's take a look. All right, let me get this camera readjusted real quick. And let's go see, uh, let's go see how this will fit in the restroom. But here's kind of how it looks since you couldn't get a full length view a moment ago. And it just opens like that and then to put the new paper toilet paper roll in you open it there so let's go see let's go see if it fits it's a tight squeeze on that side but it pretty much fits i don't know how it's going to be when you're sitting on the toilet, if you'll hit it, not sure. Um, this side over here is a little bit wider, but I feel like the closer it is to the shower, the greater the likelihood of moisture. So I think I'm gonna put it back on the other side. All right guys, well I know this wasn't again the most exciting video. If you want to pick up that same little toilet paper dispenser, I will have a link for that in the description below. If you are new to my channel, please give this video a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I will see you guys in the next one. Later.